What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to take a pop, a heat gun, and see what I can do with it. Alright, so for everybody out there has watched my, my channel, my social media, or anything for any length of time, they know that I hate... Funko Pops that you can't take off the bases. It drives me insane. It bothers me uh, from a photography point of view. It sucks. Um, I hate it. And when I first started collecting Funko Pops, you know, they was a little bit of like hot glue and you could take it off and there was a peg there. And it's like, that made so much sense. You could, you could take it off the base. You could photograph it. You could have fun with it. And then if you wanted to, put it right back on the base. But in Funko's wisdom, nay, nay, let's just glue the whole thing to it. So um, I've been wanting to do some pictures of Bo-Katan. And I just figured I would show you guys how I do it. Now, the, the most common way to remove it is hot water. Hot water works great. Nothing wrong with it. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Bogotan's range finder is a little deformed. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with hot water. Nothing. It works great. Nothing wrong with it. But, uh, you know, sometimes I just don't want to go get some hot water. So I figured we would do a, a heat gun. And the heat gun, uh, it should work fine, you know. I don't see no reason why it wouldn't. I do know we're going to be careful. If you don't have a heat gun or have never used a heat gun, these things are stupidly hot. They will burn you like crazy. Uh, I actually burnt myself on the, the wrist because I actually touched, you know, big dummy me. So, yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna see... I know about how long it takes uh, for the hot water. I think it's around 10 minutes and then sometimes you gotta put it back in. So I don't know how long uh, this is gonna take because I've never used this before. This is, this is something we're doing together. I've thought about it, but every time I think about it, I'm usually around the kitchen and I just, you know, throw it in some boiling water and boom. And I actually have a special pot that I use for bowling figures and, and everything else in because um, my lovely wife told me I needed to get my own pot. So I did. I'm a good husband. I got my own pot. Uh, but I have used the heat gun with figures and things like that to loosen up joints. So I don't see no reason why this won't work. I really don't. What could go wrong? I melt it. That could definitely go wrong. Um... So yeah, what we'll do is we'll start um, definitely going to get one of these and we'll just see what happens here. <clears throat> we'll see if we'll see if we can get it off in a reasonable amount of time. I'm not going to time lapse this. Um, I'm not going to throw this on high or uh, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it on low. There, there's probably going to be some noise. I apologize. We'll just see what happens. Always keeping it moving. Yeah, it's getting warm. I will say this, the hot water method, you just basically sit it in the hot water and walk away. So, uh, yeah, that part of it is easier. But I've always got my heat gun down here and I'm always, I don't, I don't know why this is, it's just never been high on the radar. Oh, it's getting warm. I'm going to turn it up. We're going to turn this bad boy up. How cool would it be if this actually just fell down? You know? That would be cool. Just drop off. Woo! That's getting warm. Oh, yeah. Just got my finger. I just felt it on my finger. All right, so and turn this upside down. Let's see if we got any 
any activity. The legs have definitely gotten softer. And you got to be careful. I mean, you got to be careful. This one foot right here, it's almost off. It's almost off. Wow. Don't get it too close. Now, what I would probably suggest is uh, possibly some cold water. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this upside down so I don't deform it in any way. Oh, there's one foot. Oh, and there is a peg there on that one. All right. We got, uh, we got one foot off right there. One down, one to go. So I definitely could. Ooh, man, that is warm. That is warm. I do this a lot of times too, just like over it. Oh, I got it under it. We're getting close. We're getting close. It's under. Oh, oh. Boom, right there. Look at that. That was pretty quick. That was pretty legit quick. Little peg. Now, honestly, usually when I do this, um, even when I boil it, the bases, I'm impatient. If you take your time, you can you can save your bases and and this and that. But uh, yeah, got a little bit of the base right there. Take some little snippies, clip that off, and voila! All right. I, now Bocaton's got one foot up and one foot down, so I don't know exactly how well she will stand up on her own. So I may have to utilize the um, the heat gun to shape it a little bit to get the balance right because Funko Pops are top heavy. I mean, let's just be honest. They are top heavy. So let me do this back on low. I'm going to just slightly warm this up a little bit. I don't want to get it too hot because I need to touch it. Got it down here on a flat surface. I'm gonna heat up our, I think I'm gonna heat up our antenna too. Hey, we're close. Okay, you know what? Hang on a minute. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pull the camera down, let's see what I'm doing. This is probably better. <laughs> so as you can see, so she's got one foot that the heel's up. So that just means she's got toe contact only. So what I'm doing is, is I'm holding, I'm holding her toe here. Okay. She's standing up pretty good, but she's still a little bit, a little bit front heavy. So I think what I can do is just heat this up. and put my finger there and just pull it back a hair and let it cool. Let's see what happens. Okay, put my finger there. Still a little bit off center, and that's okay. Just heat it up. Just warm it up enough to where it's a little pliable, not crazy pliable, just a little bit. Yeah, like that. I'm trying to, oh, her foot's a little cockeyed too. That might be the reason too. Let's straighten her foot up a little bit. I have people ask me a lot of times how, how I do things. And again, there's tons of ways of doing things. It's all over the old interwebs. But I just figured why not? Why not show you guys how I do it? 
We're getting close. That's that foot right there. Need to do a little bit more modifications. I love this pop. I like the colors on it and stuff like that. But again, I just hate these bases. They just drive me crazy. Because if you put if you put a pop in a diorama, it just looks silly on a base. I'm gonna tweak that ankle a little bit. Let me check it out. I'm looking at it from behind. I need to look at it from the front. From my perspective, I think we're getting we're getting close. We're getting close. Boom! Right there. Let's see if I can do it away from me. So basically, what I'm doing, I've got it to where it sits there, but I'm moving the foot. I'm just trying to get it positioned the way I want it. She's got a weird gait. This is a very weird gait. So close. Come on, Bo. Work with me, Bo. One more. Okay, let me get, let me just hold it right here for a second. Try to manipulate everything. And this is the fun part about doing stuff like this. You know, for me it is anyway. A lot of people might be like, oh my God, that is so much work. Why are you doing that? The plastic is still slightly warm. It cools off relatively quick. It's just trying to find that balance. And it's really, really close. I mean, it's like hanging there on the smidgens. And I think the problem is, oh, it's almost solved. We're, we're close. We're so close right now. Stay with me. We're so close. I'm telling you, we're close, I promise. We're going to get her. But see, this is the thing that I truly love doing with, with my figures. Is I love figuring out ways to, you know, customize them or figure out ways to get a little bit more use out of them. Oh, it's so funny. And typically, too, when I photograph pops, some, depending, sometimes, even when I take them off their bases, I will put um, a little wacky tacky, you know, just to keep them from... Uh... Boom. There she is. <laughs> all right guys let me take the camera move it up and i'll be right back all right so i got the leg straightened out but i want to see if i can get this thing i want to heat it up a little bit and see if i can pull it back and hold it so it'll stay try to take take some of that tension out of it i'm telling you heat gun Heat gun is a good thing to have. It really, really is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it like this. May have to do this a couple of times. I should have turned that off before I started this part. All right, we're getting there. All right. I'm trying not to burn my finger. And again, this is a fine balance. It is a fine balance between enough heat and too much heat. And you definitely do not want to, uh, you want to take your time. Take your time with the heat gun.
it's getting better. So I'm going to over exaggerate it a little bit. We're getting there. And I promise you, at the end of this video, I will have a photo or two of bo -Katan. There we go. We're getting, ah, we're getting there. So I'm going to over exaggerate it a little bit more. Slow, slow and low, or low and slow. Because here's the cool thing. I'm going to tell you this little trick. When you over exaggerate like this, you'll feel the tension. As you put heat to it, you'll feel it relax. So I'm putting my finger here. And I'm just doing a little bit of bending while it's still a little warm. All right, that's that's not bad. That's that's I can accept that. That's cool right there. All right, so uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I mean, I know this this may not have been exciting, but I was going to do this anyway, and um, I just thought, you know what? Let me let me show some people what I do. Let 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 me show you my thought process when it comes to these stupid things. Um, I shouldn't say stupid. They have their place. They have their place. If I would take my time with it, um, and again, I actually have two of bo uh, and this is what I typically do is if I'm going to customize one or take do this right here, I usually have two. That way I've got one in a box with a stand so I don't have to worry about that thing <laughs> anymore. So, uh, yeah. I will tell you this one one more tip. If it's not spring loaded like this, it's easier. If it's solid, it actually it's it's easier. But I mean, look, I mean, she's boom. She's standing up on her own big time now. So yeah. There you go, guys. That's how I am gonna start modifying more of my fungal pops. Uh again, heat gun. Uh it's a great tool. It's a great tool to have. And uh just be careful with it. It's great for figures. Uh, I don't recommend it for drying paint. Hair dryer, that's still the best way to do a paint. Uh, but you saw how quick it was. And guess what? No pot, no water, no nothing. No microwaves. Just sit down in your, uh, your, your work area or your toy room. Break out your heat gun. And uh, take your time and boom, you can take a base off. But that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Let me know if you've done the heat gun method before. Um, I'm glad I actually got around to doing it because, uh, that, like I said, it's a whole lot easier than getting my pot out of the garage and water. Yeah, this is so much easier. Um, well, I'm not going to say easier. There's less things involved. That's all I'm going to say. It's less involved. Uh, but you let me know what the best way is for you. Heat gun, boiling water. Do you think I'm crazy for just some people say destroying a perfectly good pop? I'm not saying destroying it. I'm saying making it better for photography. That's what this is all about. Not displaying. This sucks for displaying. Just saying. You bump, it's going to knock over. But photography, this is the way to go. But Funko, quit doing all this massive gluing stuff. You know, you don't even need glue. A couple little pegs, pop it in, you're done. That's all I'm saying. Come on, work with us here. Work with us collectors slash photographers. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know what you think. Let me know the method that you like to use because everybody has different methods. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, hey, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers this year in 2023. And I can't do it without your help. If you do subscribe, make sure to turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos and I do other things related to my channel. Also in the description of every video is where I have all the links to my social media. Check those out. Twitter, Tic Tac, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Look me up. See what I'm seeing. I post a lot of stuff to Instagram, Tic Tac, I'm start to Facebook. I try to post. When I post to one platform, I post to all the platforms. So... If you don't want to do TikTok, do Instagram. If you don't want to do Instagram, do Facebook. I'm just saying. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. But 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And lastly, please always remember, customizing toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.